Hi guys, it's Monica here. How are we all doing? It is a lovely day in Sydney today, as you can kind of tell. I'm outside. Um, the sun is out. It's been kind of raining and really windy for the past um, week or so. So it's nice just to be outside with the sun again. Um, today, I just want to talk about how to prep yourself and stay prepared and not stressed for university, especially for the year 12 students out there. You guys are kind of like heading into that time where it's almost, um, you're almost finishing high school and you know, you're excited to see what you would do for uni and you know, your exams, your HSC, whatnot. So many things happening at this time. So um, as I said in my last video, it's best just to stay prepared. And on top of things, um, the biggest tip that I received when I was in high school was to finish all my um, UAC applications before HSC. So right after trials, I um, my career advisor told me to smash out all my UAC, UAC applications and all my scholarships, paperwork, do everything before the HSC because after trials, you kind of have like a bit of a, quite a bit of a break before your HSC exams and this is the perfect time for you to just um, gather all your paperwork and submit everything because I'm, like, I'm going to tell you guys, it's not an easy process. There is a lot to do. There's lots of information that you have to know, lots of deadlines and dates. Um, so it's good to have a calendar, have all those dates in there so you don't miss any deadlines because it's the worst to just, you know, have everything prepared and just not submit it because you missed a deadline. Um, so ensure that you guys are prepared in that aspect. For UAC, um, there are lots of offer rounds and um, what do you call it? The, I don't I don't think the deadline to submit is until December or so, but don't take my word on that. Make sure you guys do your research. But I know that there are lots of um, offer rounds, so don't be too stressed if you guys don't get an offer round the first time. Um, there's second, I think I didn't get an offer for uni until the third round, I think it was. Um, so yeah that's that don't be too stressed on yourself make sure you guys apply for as many scholarships as you can like the un the universities and like wherever the scholarships are coming from they want to give it to you so if you don't apply you will never get a chance of getting it so make sure you apply for as many that apply for you as possible um you know and just it's just that it will be that extra help for you guys to go through uni especially during this time um where COVID 19 has impacted all of us I, th I think financially um, and emotionally, you know, it's impacted us in every way possible, which is crazy. But it is what it is. We just got to adapt to it. Um, so, yeah, I think it's best to make sure you have a calendar or just even like a list of what you want to apply for and when those dates are, when the deadlines are. So you can um, make sure you take advantage and like um, just apply for all those that you can. That way you have lots of opportunity. For your work, you're allowed to apply, put in five preferences from first to last. Um, and don't be scared if you, like, I remember for me, I thought it was once you submit it, it's um, set there, but it's not. You can always come back and change it as much as, as many times as you want. So don't be scared to um, just start the application, put in five preferences in and change it wherever you feel like you, you know, want to try something else, do another bachelor degree, undergrad, anything. Whatever you guys want to do, um, there's that for UAC and like um, if you guys are planning to take other pathways, make sure you do enough research into that, what the application process is like, that way you know what to do. Um, but besides that, I think that's all I've got to say for the getting into um, university or getting into that pathway of you that you want to head into um, but yeah that's it from me bye guys